Hey guys, me and Alex are back with another candy tasting video and this week we are trying Italian snacks and candy. Yeah, more European candy. Mm -hmm. Me and Kate recently went on a trip yes. to Italy, which is where we picked this up. And, and if you haven't watched our video yet, click in the description box down below. We'll or leave, be linked up there. Or linked up there, we'll leave our Bari vlog. So that really got us in the mood for trying some Italian stuff. So we jumped down to a supermarket and, and we, we picked up all this. And we actually picked up all of this. So we bought all this ourselves and got it back on the flight. We bought quite a lot. Let us know in the comments box down below if you've ever been to Italy or if you're from Italy or if you have any relatives from Italy. Or if you've ever flown with Wizard. We did something really cool, didn't we? Yeah, so cool. We took to Instagram and we did a bit of a poll. So the chocolate bar in here, we let you decide. The snack in there, we let you decide. And we're gonna try to do that more on different places we go to, aren't we? Yeah, and if you don't follow us on Instagram, um, it's in the kitchen with Kate and, uh, at Almerdo. And at Almerdo, if you want to follow Alex. You can probably tell we picked this because we've got quite a lot of crisps, don't we? Yeah. Now we would have Whenever picked we even pick, more. We do crisps, yeah. But they're quite big, aren't they? Yeah, and we massive. only had hand luggage. Well, we didn't, but our other bags were full. How awesome do they look? Yeah. This looks like, I know it's not, but the way the design of this looks like fresh produce. It I was looks about really to say, fresh. it looks almost like a bag fresh of pasta. pasta yeah. Pasta. Oh, the, the aisles of pasta. That was amazing. so many. Actually, yeah. not as many as I thought. One, two, three, four. Oh. These look amazing. I think the brand is San Carlo, 1936. And there's images on the back, like back in the day, them making it. I just love this packaging so much. We then have Saturn Salati Prezios, non fritti. I wonder if that means non-fried. They look like onion rings, but I don't know what flavor they are. Um, unfortunately, Pizza flavor, Alex. Oh my word. How did we not see that? And these are ketchup. Ketchup, we had ketchup flavor from... in Canada. And these are Fonzies. I believe these are like cheese things. Do you want to start with the originals? Yeah. And, and I love one of the only phrases I learned in Italy, apart from orecetti, and which is a type of pasta, buongiorno. was grazie mille, which is thank you very much. Oh my word, there's like less than half in there. They look good though, but and they look like that, they look on there. Oh, they look crunchy. They actually look like they do look on there, and you can see like the herb. That tastes like... They taste so fresh. It tastes like fresh basil. Basil, if you're American. And they got... It tastes like fresh tomato. It doesn't just that. taste like tomato, it tastes like... I've just cut up a tomato and put it on here. It tastes like I'm eating crunchy caprese salad. Oh, this is amazing. So flavorful. I reckon they've dried the tomatoes mm. and dried the herbs. Mm. That is so good. I would say they're the freshest bag of crisps I've ever had. Mm. Flavor wise, like I have enjoyed other flavors more, mm. but that's incredible. So in terms of like these, I'll scale mm. them. Because I don't know how they usually do the flavor of crisps. Some of it must be baked in, some of it must be like the powder on top. Mm. But these taste like they've actually been seasoned by a proper chef. Like, it, it feels mm. like they've been put on the thing and seasoned. Mm. But if you look at this photo, it does look like they're hand doing it. Yeah. Obviously not now though. Yeah. Okay, as these are pizza flavors, should we give them a yeah. break in the middle just in case they are too like... Mm. It says Black's Gusto Ketchup. Yeah. So I wonder if that's... Wacko's. Yeah, ultimate. I wonder if black pasta. ketchup is pasta. like their brand of ketchup. Ooh. Once again, a black packet. We don't really get black packaging. Mm. I think also because a lot of the times you want something to pop out. Sorry, these are so oh. crunchy, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. So they're like um, fries, but like they've got stick. holes in. Tastes like ketchup. They are ketchup. <laughs> Literally they're so ketchup. light. And they're like puff crisps. Have you tried the Canadian ketchup crisps? Were they Lay's? Yeah. Lay's. Completely different flavour to that. Oh, we had some they're ketchup recently. They're more like recently. the ketchup ones from the Qatar. I think the it was Qatar. Qatar. These literally taste like, not Heinz ketchup, but it tastes like, almost like Burger King ketchup. Mmm. Mmm. That's I, good stuff. I wish we bought Chris while we were there. While we were there. Well, I'll just tell you, if you haven't watched the video, we ate enough stuff. We oh. didn't need to eat anymore. Oh my god, these are incredible. Yeah. In some ways, I actually kind of, I love those, but there's something about the ketchup flavor that I love. Wait, right. and we have to go back. Okay. Check it. 
No, I still prefer these. It's a completely mm. different flavour. So, oh, it's amazing. They're just so different. I reckon mm. that next. Yeah. Then they're, so I'm hoping they're really good. It's such different branding on all of them, isn't there? Yeah. If these are good, we'll link Eros's channel up there. If they're not, we won't. <laughs> also, if they're good, I'll be annoyed that we didn't get a big bag. Yeah. How do These they smell? These are very colourful. Oh, and wow. they kind of smell like... Smell? No, non-fruity. Does that mean non-fried? Can you see how no. bright they are next to that green? Pizza flavour. And what's the verdict? Because we had burger flavour rings and they didn't taste like burger. You can see where they're coming from. They taste more like the... Um, Basil. Like from the New Zealand, they taste like those crackers. It's more like an oregano-like taste. These are my it? least favourite and we've got the biggest bag. Mm. They don't have a lot of flavour, do they? Mm. I do bag. enjoy an onion ring. Like mm. They're the same um, texture as an onion ring, aren't they? So yeah. picture that. Look, that says non fruity as well. What does that mean? Hey Google, what does non fruity mean in Italian? Non fruity. Cheers Google, always there to help. <laughs> Oh, I thought they were going to be red. Because of the, I, I thought they were going to be, what, those knickknacks? I thought yeah. they were going to be like... More orangey, orangey like a yeah. deep orange. Okay, I'm going to get a little handful. If you've ever had knickknacks in England, these are like those. Or if you've had crunchy Cheetos, they're like the crunchy ones. Mm. They're like that white cheddar flavour, aren't they? Mm. Remember a few years ago when we were in LA, we went to Trader Joe's. We got that popcorn that was like white, white cheddar. Chip. Yeah, like that. So good, aren't they? Mm. It almost has a hint of blue cheese. Mm. I get that. That's the thing. Like over here, if we have cheese in crisps, it's either just like a generic cheese flavour mm -hmm. or cheddar. Whereas with these, it's like they've actually put a really fancy cheese flavour on crisps. Yeah, like a posh cheese. Mm. Wow. Okay. What's your order? Mm. The pizza rings for me are the bottom. Yep, definitely. These next. No, for me, it's the ketchup ones. Really, next. I love those. And then the king of the crisps that we've selected. I think these are my second, actually. Are these the top? No, honestly, have some more of those. I feel like you might be able to get these in Carluccio's. It's like the kind of oh, thing yeah. where they have like the little deli bit in the mm. front. They probably don't, but. <laughs> like the freshness of these is just amazing and the crunch and these are what I call crisps mm, yeah they're the top if you can get your hands on some of these get them what I would like to do now is a battle between those and the truffle crisps Whoa. from our Swedish candy trying which is up there because they were good but I think it would depend on what kind of flavour you like because mm. the truffle ones were so rich whereas these are light and crunchy wow ten Ketchup, ten. I think, is nine and a half. Ten. Fonzies are I think are these are still a ten for me. Oh. Yeah, just not as good as those. And those pizza ones are about a seven. These are like a nine and a half. Eight. Seven. I know really it's more about the coffee, but while we've got our tea, should we have the biscotti? Yeah, maybe. So we decided we couldn't go to Italy and not yeah. get biscotti. So this is biscotti genuini. This is made by Bisco. Do you want a whole one? Oh no, let's go half, because the, they don't look that big and then you get so one in your massive. hand and it, it's like a, an illusion, optical illusion. Oh, that's got such a nice Whoa. break to it. Because I was going to say it doesn't really look like biscotti, but that's because usually it's cut mm. and you see that part of the biscotti. And quite often it has almonds in. It's just plain, we got the plain ones, but it's good. Mm. They're not too sweet. Perfect with a cuppa. Mine's really cold. I'm not much of a dunker either. No, because as we've already discussed, she's a plonker. <laughs> mm. I didn't like that dunk dim. You didn't, because it was cold. That's why I like it on its own. Weird. No, I didn't really like biscuits dunk dim. Oh, really? Here's our mum. <laughs> and she looks lovely in her new jumper, doesn't she? Let yeah, her know in the strappy. comment box yeah. down below. <laughs> yeah, she'll be checking. She's always checking the comments, <laughs> making sure everyone's playing nice. <laughs> she is. Do you think we should try these Kinder? Oh, yeah. Tani? Chia. So if you didn't watch our vlog, we realised that Kind is actually from Wait. Italy. Oh, they're cool, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they feel a bit dry, but I reckon they're really nice. Well, it's got chocolate going through the middle, a bit like a If this Choco is pan. nice, I'll be jealous, because we don't really have many, like, baked cakes in England that no. come in packets that are good, do we? No. 
It does taste, it smells like a pound of chocolate. There is a fly going oh, on. Oh, it's so dry. Yeah. But the chocolate brings it back to life. That's really Not dry. Enough. So dry. But, but the also chocolate great brings at the it same back time. to life. Yeah. It tastes a bit like something. Like a croissant. Mm. Pan of chocolate from a dry. Yeah, a really dry pan of chocolate. The sponge is so dry, but the chocolate does bring mm. it back together. But I don't know. I thought that was going to be amazing. I would still wouldn't get really excited to have one. It'd probably, on my scale of things, it'd probably be a six. Mm. So that's kind of like. I thought I had the fly on me then. Yeah. No flies on you? I was really looking forward to that. Should we try those Blancos then? Biancos. Oh no, that's pure white chocolate, isn't it? Yes. Yes, we can try that. Mm, no. Lingotto Motta Chocolato Bianco. Bianco. White chocolate. Right, here we go. Let's no, see what this is often. all about. No, it's not often. You can actually just get plain chocolate. No, it usually it's such comes a big pack as well. Here, what's, what would be your go-to white chocolate in England? Milky bar. But you can't get those in big bars like you can Cadbury's, Dairy Milk and Me. Well, you get them in the one pound bar. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, right. But that's literally it. And like Lindor, Lint, has mm. something inside. It's like oh, right. creamy. Mm, that is chunky. Very chunky. What are you saying to that? Mm, Marvellous. <laughs> Creations. <laughs> mm, wow. I can actually quite enjoy that because it's not, it's not a sickly sweet. No. Oh. oh. I would say that is one of the nicest white chocolates I've ever had. Two on. I'm keeping this in my own little cupboard away from everyone. No one else is having anything. Well, even though I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. You quite is the word. <laughs> this is fabulous and it is not to be wasted on people who just quite no, you enjoy are. it. That is right. That is incredible. That, that is what I'm going to let you have for doing these videos Thank with me. Thank you. Now the thing is, I love Milky Bar white chocolate, mm. but I love white chocolate and so many people say, oh, it's sickly sweet. Mm. Whereas that is white chocolate. It's absolutely delicious, but it hasn't got that sickly yeah. sweet. Well, obviously, Well, that's what I don't two... like about Milky Bar. Milky, what is it called? Milky Bar. Milky Bar. That's the what Milky I don't like oranges. about it. But that is really oh. enjoyable white chocolate. That was delicious. Do you oh. want to stay on the white chocolate? Didn't realise we got so much white chocolate. Now this looks awesome. Chubba Chubs have other things other than lollies. Yeah, because over here they only have lollies. Popsicles or what else do people call lollies? I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry, but doesn't that look awesome? That does look cool. You don't really get stuff like this, do you? No. Sorry, did you want to open that? No, no, you open it. You like the white chocky. It's like a finger, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like such a thin chocolate bar. Okay. It's got, are they like it's Smarties got like or something? It's got like candy pieces in there. We yeah. would call these sort of things Smarties. Yeah. Because only they have the answer. You know, that sickly sweet white chocolate. Like yeah. that over there tastes like chocolate. That's. This doesn't that's taste like chocolate. on the verge of like Belgium chocolate. Mm. This, this just tastes more like candy to me. You know so how sweet. Um, we tried that Hershey's bar? Hershey's. Hershey's gold. Yeah. And I, and I said, oh, some ways it tastes like white chocolate, sometimes it tastes like, I can't tell what chocolate that is. Mm. And loads of people were commenting, the reason why you can't tell is because it's not actually chocolate. Yeah. It's like a candy, you know, yeah. like candy, oh, like candy, candy melts. melts. I feel That's like this is. is like candy melts. Yeah. Not a big fan of that. Mm, like, I bad, would though. give that a three, if not a two. It's honestly that bad for me. I've got to cleanse my palate. I'll give that a six. Ooh. You know what we should have had before? The Kinder Bueno thing is this, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Because this was like another spongy dessert thing and that we did. Isn't this what Instagram we did a poll? poll? We said, should we buy the Kinder or should we buy this, which the looks more Fiesta. local? Mm. And so many more people voted this. Yeah, but on our way out, we saw just an individual one of these, so we thought we might as well in, try in it. In anyway. a vending machine, because mm. we thought we can't take two massive ones home. If we like this better, we'll be annoyed, yeah. don't we? Ooh, it's uh -oh. chocolate covered. Mm. The anticipation will have to wait. <laughs> oh, what on earth is that? Uh. You get something in here. Game changer, that's sauce. I think you get a badge. <laughs> it's a key ring. Is that a key ring bottle opener? Oh my word. Is that what that means? Un gadget in sashito. A gadget in a sachet. Yeah. <laughs> I love stuff like this. 
Oh, it's like, it's like a badge, it's like isn't a badge. it? With a bottle opener. That's always handy. Should we try this now? Mm -hmm. Although it's a lot more moist, so we're definitely right getting those ones. That tastes like alcohol. What do you think that tastes like it's got? Mm, kind of. It's got orange. Maybe it's because it's got like a jelly orange. Mm. I don't know why I went back for a second piece. Orange is very strong, isn't it? Oh, definitely. It almost tastes alcoholic. Yeah, it does. I wouldn't, I wouldn't oh, ever seven. buy one of those. Yeah. No. This does taste alcoholic, almost like Contro. Contro. Contro, yeah. Because Contro is orange, so maybe mm. that's what it is. Okay, sad. We've only got four things left. We've got two chocolate bars. We've got fudgy caramels, and then we've got a wafer. Personally, I don't want to finish on wafer. Okay, let's do wafer now then. So bamboo. Ooh, these look really good actually. <laughs> We're really drying now actually. We're really dry. They're good though. That would be mm. perfect coffee wafer snack. Oh, no, it's so dry. It's like mm. soaked up all the saliva in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, it has a bit. Yeah. This is like hazelnut cream in the middle, which is probably why you like it. Mm. I don't really rate this. Baloco. I Don't think we've had that. better ones. Much better. Polish wafer is so much We're better. Scared, isn't yeah, it? those ones. The and extra even XL or whatever. Did we get called. some wafer from Sweden? Yeah, I think so. That was much better. I'm literally giving that a four. Do you want it? Yeah, I'll probably give it a five. Mm. I'm not so excited about it. Should we go chocolate and then fudge, or yeah, fudge maybe. and then chocolate? The reason we picked both of these. We could have gone with like a Nestle, but Nestle are obviously worldwide. And also we have a load in the Spanish yeah. one. But we thought these look kind of authentically Italian. They're both made by Novi. And this is the with chocolate Classico. And this is chocolate milk with nut. I don't know how to say it, but Italian, I love Italian. And like cioccolato al latte finissimo. Finissimo. I love things out like finissimo. Flip oh, this, this is over. cool. This one's broken, oh, but it's like a ripper spot. It's in um. Well, this it's is like that one from Spain. Mm. It's in those bars out. Oh, do you want a piece of this? This please. At first, I was thinking this is like that generic chocolate. Actually, I think it's slightly better than that. This almost tastes like what's round the. Um, it's quite milky. It's nice. The Kinder like milky cream bar. Mm. Oh, this is nice with the nuts. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You're a nutter. The nuts have got a really nice crunch. Mm. That's like someone said to me the other day. It, it's not Nutella, it's, it's Nutella. Nutella. Oh no, because here we say nut, N-U-T. That's how you spell Nutella. That's how you say Nutella. I like the crunch of those newts. Mm. However, that to me just tastes like I'm eating Nutella because they're hazelnuts and that milk chocolate, chocolate. tastes like hazel like yeah. Nutella. Maybe that's what this kind of tastes like. That's a wonder, that's lovely. If you love Nutella, buy one of these chocolate bars. I'd probably give this chocolate on its own an eight, but with the Literally nuts, tastes just like Nutella. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give that milk chocolate an eight. I'm gonna give this a seven. Really? I'm going a down. six. <laughs> mm. Finally, it's after. Alpenlibi, le original al caramello de venta toffee. We have a brand in the UK called Werther's Original. Oh yeah. They do a soft version, mm. and I feel like this looks like that brand. Well, the original was the hard toffee. Yeah. Now they've done a soft one. Ooh, I was not yeah. expecting that packaging. They say soft, but that is not soft at all. But I bet it's one of those things where it feels hard, but if you put it in your mouth, oh I maybe. Bet it will... Oh look, and it's in a. A little safety wrapper. I really like it. Oh yeah, it's soft. Mm. It doesn't feel soft. Okay, it's soft, it's chewy, isn't it? Mmm, that is nice, eh? Mm. Well, it's meant to be caramel, but I feel like, yeah, that's not like our caramels. Mm. I feel like this is like a taffy. It's flavoured caramel, but yeah. it's not caramel. Does that yeah. make sense? By the colour of it, like, that's not what caramel colour is. Well, it's usually lighter than that, isn't it's it? It's More like the photo, yeah. yeah. Probably like a seven for me, but it's good. Hmm. What about you? The flavour's nice, but I can't help but feel like they're trying to make it yeah. like caramel when it's I not. I did think they were going to be a lot richer than they are. Yeah. They are still lovely, mm. and I'll probably give them a seven and a half. Yeah. But they're trying to fool people there. Let me know, are these actually caramels, or are they like flip? Mm. You know, it doesn't seem... 
Although it says to toffee, we're saying toffee here. Mm. That doesn't taste like toffee to me, really. No. And we're at the end. That happened much quicker than I thought it was going to. Yeah. But I think it's because we had bigger packs. It looked like we had yeah, so much like more. Yeah, loads of stuff. Did you mm. enjoy that? Yeah, well, you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. Exactly. And when you're eating lots of good, delicious food. You're having fun. <laughs> and I'm glad so. that we've got big bags of crisps. Yeah. Yeah, so did you enjoy that? I did enjoy that. Thank you, sorry for that. Oh, why did you already ask me if I yeah, enjoyed it? Oh. I said to enjoy that. I absolutely love trying candy and snacks mm. from different countries. So if you wanted to try some of our British snacks and candy, head to the description box down below. We'll leave a link where you can get our candy and yeah. also a link up there as well. Yeah. So make sure you check that out. Yeah. This has been really fun. This and the Spanish yeah. candy one have been really fun because although, don't get me wrong, I love it when people send us candy. But in some ways, it's quite nice us going into the supermarket yeah. and being like, okay, well, this looks cool. Should we try that? Yeah. And then we bring it home and it's like, oh, did we pick good? And actually, some of these are really good and others are Well, I think that's some of the pros of when people are from that country is mm. you know it's either good yeah. from that location or it's, you know, a traditional thing. Whereas when we buy the stuff, you don't know if you yeah. can get... We try to look at the back and see if it's, you know, from Spain or Italy. Mm. But that's the thing. It's kind of like, have we bought anything good? Yeah. <laughs> but I think we did quite well. Pat on the back. Alex, in real life time, found out the other day that... I'm a godfather. He's a godfather! To our friend Joe and Ash's beautiful baby, Thomas. Thomas. He's yeah. like the cutest thing ever, He's isn't so he? Cute. Yeah. I, I just, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So congratulations to Alex in the comments. Yeah, congrats, Alex. Oh, it's so nice. So sweet. Oh, it's so cool. We hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys. See ya.